Hello, hello, hello. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. Come on, we. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday. So today we're doing the class together, okay? So I swear I'm not fair class long some, okay? So we'll be doing the base, the past, and the perfect, okay? So ça nous va faire soya. Moi, pas le mettre moyo na présent pour nous. Et puis na petri yo na passé. Et puis na mettre yo na perfect. So if you guys can please share the live, invite a friend. I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds, and I will be right back. Thank you. All right. So we're gonna start with the first word, okay? So nous allons commencer avec un premier mot nous aujourd'hui, which is shake, 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 shake. Okay? Qui veut dire souke? Can you shake this for me? Ça veut dire est-ce qu'on souke ça pour moi? Yes, I will shake this for you. Ça veut dire que oui, moi pral souke ça pour vous, OK? Now, si nous prenons shake là, nous mettons in the past tense, li pas shake encore, li vin choc, OK? I shook the table. Ça veut dire que moi té souke table là, OK? I shook, OK? I shook the table. Moi té souke table là, OK? Shook, S H O O K, OK? Now present, we get shake, shake, and then the past say shook. Hold on, let me get another marker. I have so much. Okay, now. Si n'a mette choklon na perfect, ki sa n'a di? We're doing the class together, guys, okay? So a swa n'a fe class yon ensemble, okay? So ma fe l'ensemble ave nou. So n'a prezan, mou a te shake. N'a passe, li vin soti nan shake, li vin nan chok, okay? So si m'a mette nan perfect tense, ki sa la pie? So in the present, you say shake. The past is shook. So it's not really more than perfect. Write it down. So you're gonna write number one key so upon sit up here. So we're going from shake, the present tense, to shook. So in the perfect tense, write down how you think I should write it. So sample nous fait, I want you guys to mark it number one, okay? And then what you think I should write it, okay? So before, shake, na passe, se shook, na perfect, qui sont pensé la pied? Okay? What do you think I should write in the perfect tense? Let me see. Okay? So, come on, I say on YouTube, yo, ki gani, I'm gonna write it down. Shaking, very good. All right, so we're going from shook to shaking. Okay, so lo abdil, lo abdil shaking, no abdil shaking, n, n. Like you saying the number 10, shaking, okay? Gain shaking, king. In k n k in k n shaking shaken okay this is shake present tense the past is shook okay and then the perfect is shaken very good so number two spend okay I spend twenty dollars okay so sima metin no passe how will I write it down Number two, 
The second word is spend. Si me vous mettez in the past, how will I write it? Spend. How do you say spend? Okay? Past tense. Don't spend your money, okay? So, so avec le passé, how should I write it down? So I'm waiting for you guys on um, Facebook. Come on. Spent. Very good. Okay. Listen, Bermude, you spent too much money. Okay. Seems to you spent. Okay. This is the past. S'il n'a présent, I do spend. S'il n'a pas spent. How much did you spend? S-P-E-N-T, okay? So, very good. Spent. Okay? Now, si ma mette le perfect, comment ma pekril? So, how should I write it in the perfect tense? Do you think I should change it or should it stay the same? So, si nous pensons que it should stay the same, write down, stay the same. Si nous pensons que si vous avez changé, just tell me to change it. So, why do you think I'm doing that with you guys? Okay? Sometimes when you guys are conversating, problem nous gagne, nous gagne quelques mots, nous pas qu'on comment pour nous changer le passé et comment pour nous changer le perfect. So, leave it the same. Very good. Okay? So, it's spent. Okay? Excellent. Number three, leave. Leave. Qui veut dire aller? Okay? Leave. I have to leave. Okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Quitte mon repos. Okay? So, comment pour me transformer? Non? Passé. How should I write it down? Leave. Leave this alone. Quitte sans repos. Leave me alone. Quitte mon repos. Leave this. Quitte ça. Okay? How should I write leave? Leave. Qui le dit aller? Okay? Did you leave? Est-ce que tu allé? So very good, left, okay? So the pass is left. Angelo left his backpack on the table. Qui veut dire que Angelo te quitte valise lien sous table, okay? Nadia left the marker outside. Nadia te quitte marker a de yoa. Okay? Amy left her phone in my house. Amy te quitte telefoni la kaimwe. Okay? Did you leave esko, esko te quitte? I left. Mwen ta ale. This is the past. Okay? Now, si nap change left, nap mette l'an perfect tense. Comment pou mette l'an? So now we're moving from leave to left. Leave, vle di ale. Left, vle di te ale. Okay? Now not mete no perfect tense. How should I write it down? So does it stay the same or do I change it? Christina. You cannot say Sophia left her phone from my house because c'est un coup ou dit qu'on sait que Sophia a quitté le téléphone moi dès qu'elle moi. Okay? Ou dit Sophia left her phone 
in my house. Okay? Left. Left it is. Okay? So, this is what I want you guys to keep in mind. Okay? Get kek mo, leona perfect tense, they stays the same. Ou pa change yo. Nothing change. Okay? It stays the same. All right? Next word. We have choose. Now, I want you guys to listen carefully and choose wisely. Choose le di choisi. Okay? Now, si ma mette choose na passe. How should I write it down? Okay? What did you choose? Did you choose this marker or that marker? Qui sont tes choisis? Est-ce que tes choisis marker ça ou bien marker ça? What did you choose? Qui sont tes choisis? Did you choose this marker over that marker? Est-ce que tes choisis marker ça ou les deux marquer ça? Okay? So, the past would have to be what? Chose. Very good. Listen, Lenise chose this marker. On the other hand, Jonise chose that marker. Qui voulait dire que Lenise choisit marker ça? Jonise choisit marker ça. Chose. Okay? Chose. Okay? Te choisi. Okay? I chose Amy to be my friend. Okay? Moi te choisi Amy. Si me dit I choose Amy, moi choisi. I chose moi te choisi. Okay? Now, si na mette le perfect tense, comment on a écrit? So now, we're stepping from choose to chose to what? Now, choose wisely, guys. Okay? What did you choose? Qui sont tes choisi? I chose this. Moi te choisi ça. Okay? So perfect tense would have to would have to be what? Chosen. Very good. So monkey chosen now. Excellent. Okay. Chosen. All right. So next word. Catch. Okay. Catch. Atrape ça. Catch this. Atrape ça. Okay. So si ma mette catch no passé. In the past. How should I write it down? Okay, can you catch this? Est-ce qu'on peut attraper ça? Okay. So now we're doing catch, 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 catch. Okay. So past tense is what? Caught. Very good. Caught. Ought, ought. Ou même qui a problème prononcer. While I'm doing this, this is the time for you to do that. Okay. Keep this in mind. C'est pas nous tout qui a même problème. So let me break it down very slow. Ou même qui a problème prononciation. While I'm doing it, do it along with me. Ou même qui a problème pour tendre. Don't do it. Just try to listen. Okay. Ou même qui a problème pour écrire. Your eyes should be on the board. Okay. So we're coming from catch, 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 to caught, 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 okay? Caught. Ou pas di caught, ou pas di caught, ou di caught, 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 all right? Very good. Caught is spelled like this. C-A, wrong marker. C A U G H T. Ugh. My cat caught a mice. Oh, qui veut dire que chaque moyen qu'un bé yon sourit. Okay, mice veut dire sourit. Okay, caught. I caught the ball. Mwen te atrape boul la. Ok? Caught. Ok? Te atrape. Catch. Atrape. Caught is in the past. Now, si ma met il perfect. Comment mwen bral ekri? Mwen kap dim tablo a devan de ya. 
okay? It's on purpose, okay? So not all of you guys have the same problem. So I want some of you guys to listen, listen, okay? And repeat after me. So now, if we're writing this down in the perfect tense, the common abekwi. Caught, okay? It stays the same. You get the même genre, you pas changé. Okay? Keep in mind, c'est pas tout moi qui change dans perfect from um past tense to perfect tense, okay? Very good. Next, eat. Eat. Did you eat your banana, Patrick? Peterson, did you eat your food? Eat vledi manger. Moi dit Peterson. Est-ce que tu mangé manjola? Patrick, did you eat your banana? Est-ce que tu mangé figouan? Eat. So, si n'a mette eat nan passé, comment n'a pas écrit? I eat my food. Moi mangé mangé. Did you eat? Yes, I, I what? I ate. Very good. This is the past. So, si m'dou kon sa ke, Patrick, did you eat your banana? So, si Patrick mange figlan deja, li pap dim, yes, teacher, I eat my banana. Lap dim, yes, teacher, I ate my banana. Because this is the past. Okay, so, I ate. Okay, very good. Ate. Okay, now, si map metel nan perfect, ki sal pralye? Will it stay the same or do I have to change it? So now you're going from eat to eight to what? Eat from eight to E10, okay? Very good. E10, okay? Mbavle o ken moun mette ING la dan. Because se pa continue, el continue. Okay, now we're doing the perfect tense. So it's not eating. Get eating. Get E10, okay? One go higher, the other one goes lower. Eating, okay? Eating. That's a low T, eating. This one right here is E10. E10. I have eaten. What did I have eating? What did I have eaten? Okay? Like you saying the number 10. All right? So it's E A T E N. E 10. All right? Very good. So, number nine. Okay? Fall. Did you fall? Escote tombe? Fall. Tombe. Fall. And also keep in mind, fall bled di se on, on saison tout. Nous gon saison ki rele fall. Okay, we have winter, we have summer, we have spring, and we have fall. But in this case, we're talking about fall tombe. Okay, so tell me how to write fall in the past. Did you fall, Jason? Est-ce que tu Yes, I fell. Very good. Fell. I fell down the stairs. Okay? Keep in mind. Leo do up the stairs, okay? Now, si m du konsa ke I trip up the stairs. Ça veut dire que, ok, moi qui le bite pendant ma monte escalier, mais si mon nom du coin ça est happen down the stairs. Ça veut dire que pendant mon nom descend, ok, down veut dire en bas, stairs veut dire escalier, up veut dire en haut, stairs veut dire escalier, ok. So now, did you fall? Yes, I fell. Est-ce que t'es tombé? Oui, moi t'es tombé. Ok. The baby fell on the floor. Qui veut dire que bébé a te tombé à terre. Okay? Now, perfect tense. Comment on a mis dans le perfect tense?
Comment la mettre dans le perfect tense? Fallen. Very good. Fallen. Mbavle aucun moun mette felled ou bien felt. No. Say fallen. Fallen. Fall. Fall. N. Fall. N. Fallen. 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 Okay? Very good. Fallen. Next. Fight. Fight. There is a fight outside. Fight, vle di goume. Sim do there is a fight outside. Okay, gen on goume de yowa. Fight. Goume. Don't fight in my house. Pa goume la kay mwen. Fight. So, si na mette fight na passe. What is it? So if we're writing the word fight in the past tense, tell me how I should write it down. Fight. So very good. Fought. Okay. Udi fought. Fought. Okay. Fought. Okay. She fought her sister downstairs. Qui veut dire que li te goumé a seul la en bas. Okay? Did you fight? Est-ce que te goumé? Yes, I fought. Oui, moi te goumé. Okay? Gen fight. Gen fought. Okay? Very good. So, si ma mette no perfect tense. Okay? Take out fight it. Moun ki mette fight it lan, li pa bon. Come on, guys. Take out the T-E-D, okay? It's fought. Okay? Fought. Okay? Now, we have to write it down in the perfect tense. Komo wap ekri. How will you write it down? By the way, fought is F O. U G H T. Let me write it down for you guys so you guys can see it. Fought. So perfect. Does it stay the same or do I have to change it? So if you think it stays the same, just write down stays the same. Si no pas que I have to change it, say I have to change it. Stays the same. Upaka di fourteen liba bon. What di fought? It stays the same. It does not change. Okay. So again, keep in mind. Se pa tout non verb yo ki change. Se pa tout ki change. Some some stays the same. All right. Next. Awake. I am awake. Okay. Are you awake? Esko leve? Yes, I'm awake. Now, put awake in the past tense. Awake. Awake. Uba di awake. U di a. It's a schwa. Awake. A w ache. Awake. A a awake. Okay. So come on, make we awake. Awoke. Okay? So, li pare te mem jan. Very good. Very good. Okay? So, si ma mette no perfect, perfect tense. Tell me how I should write it down. In the perfect tense, how should I write it? Does it stay the same or do I have to change it?
awake, awoke. Perfect tense is what? Awoken. Very good. Awoken. 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 Okay, awoken. All right. Next. We're doing B. Bagayo toujours aimé dire en Haïti. To be or not to be. Okay? Now. Nous n'en baseline, we're doing B. Okay? Samye. I'm a teacher. Okay? So, si n'a mette B in the past. Qui sa lié? Moun ki reme di to be or not to be. Yon. Let me see how much you guys understand this perfectly. Okay, now we're doing B, B E. So if we're writing it down in the past tense, B. Very good. Was ou bien were. Mba vle nou bon mon sel réponse because keep in mind, third person singular, okay? Ensemble avec l'autre chose, c'est pas même. Ou di I was, okay? I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. So therefore, what me te was, comma, and then were, all right? Very good. So B would have to be was. And then were okay. So perfect. What about perfect tense? Ben, excellent, very good, Ben. Okay. Now, on nous coupe là pour un moment, pour les gens qui ne pas comprendre le verbe yo bien. Ok? Nous allons continuer son tout court ensemble avec nous pour montrer nos gens qui ne pas yo. C'est penser, nous ne pas penser. Ok? Now, ça dit qu'on ça bi. Qui ça bi en vle dit? Dim soye. Ok? Who am I? Ok? Ou bien, ou bien, what am I? Ok? I am a teacher. Ok? You are the student. He is a man. She is a woman. It is a dog, okay? We are together, okay? They are together, okay? Leo do bien, c'est so ye, okay? Now, living change was. Si m'te un teacher en Haïti, moi vin Etats-Unis, moi pa un professeur encore. So therefore, I have to go back to school. Si m'pa retourne l'école, m'pa ka continue profession na. So, eh, la ma kole, that's what I was. I was a teacher in Haiti. Okay, you were my students in Haiti. Okay, think about it. Picture that you were in Haiti, you were in Haiti. And we were in the United States. Okay, I was the teacher in Haiti. You were my students. So we were together. Now, we were in our tents. Okay, on dit que moi décidé pour ma l'école, pour ma l'apprendre a profession. And then you guys decide to follow me still. Okay. When I say I've been your teacher, okay. Let me say I've been your teacher. It's not who I'm professor. I'm the professor of the United States. It's a perfect place to be. Okay. You've been my student. Okay. That means that you were already a teacher. It's not who you're a teacher. Okay. So, in the present tense, present tense, do you see the verity? Okay. Which is what I am a teacher. That's it. And you are a student. Passe en li mem nan, li dou sorte ye. Ok? Now, nou pa Haiti anko, nou Etats Uni. Ok? I was your teacher in Haiti, and you were my student in Haiti. Now, mwen kontinye pou m, e, a l'ekol pou m apren professor, pou mem ou still kontinye ap gade m pou apren toujou. Pou nye m pap di I was your teacher, because I'm still a teacher, so m di I've been your teacher, and you've been my students. I hope I explained this perfectly cl clear for you guys, okay? All right. Next. Hide. Keep le di kanshe. Hide. Where did you hide this? Koto te kanshe sa. 
Hide. Moi, tell you, go hide. She's coming. I'll cash it, la vini. Hide. So, how should I write it in the past tense? Hide. Pumun ka play su um Facebook. Yo, all you have to do is click on the YouTube link that I put up and then vin mit nula. Mwen fel pou nou pou nou ka tande. Si span we like on your vision. Try to listen, all right? Interact with me here. So very good. Hid, okay? So si present say hide, cache, passé a say hid, okay? Hid, hid, hid. Okay, take our shit. Hid. So, where did you hit my marker? Kikoto te kashi marker mina. Okay, I hid the marker under the table. Mwen te kashi marker en batabla. Okay, where did you hid? Kikoto te kashi. I hid in the closet. Mwen te kashi na closet. Okay, now, muna perfect tense. Kisa. What is it in the perfect tense? So we're doing hide and then from hid to what? Hidden, very good. Hid and hid and well Abdil ou fait comme si deux deo attache ensemble pour dire hidden. Hidden hidden hid and hidden okay very good hidden all right next we did this read read ki vle di li you need to read ou besoin pou li si m'a mete read nan pas comment m'a écrire did you read your book? Escote li livu? Did you read my book? Escote li livu? Read. So, how should I write it in the past tense? Read. So, in the past tense, li ekri mem jan, okay? You write it the same way, but the pronunciation is different. You say red, okay? But you do write it the same way, R-E-A-D, but the just the pronunciation change, all right? So I'm gonna show you, all right? So as you guys can see, okay? Nous écris même jan, R-E-A-D, but il va prononcer même jan. Now présent, read. Did you read my book? So, dim, yes, I read your book. Ou pas, j'aime dim, I read your book, parce que ou te lil déjà. So, therefore, c'est prononciation qui change. Pour pas di read, pour di read, nan passe. I read the book, mwen te lil li blan. I read your book, mwen te lil blan. Did you read the book? Est-ce que te lil li blan? Yes, I read the book. Oui, mwen te lil li blan, ok? So, read, present, read, pass, ok? So now we're doing perfect, okay? Does it stay the same or does it change? So red is R-E-A-D. okay? It's written the same way. Say just pronunciation qui change, that's all. So perfect, li pa change, okay? Li still rete même jan avec même prononciation past tense, which is red, okay? I've read your book many times, okay? Moi, li li en plusieurs fois. Read. All right? So next, stand. Stand, le di campe. Did you stand? Est-ce que t'es levé? Stand, levé. So si ma mette le past tense. So let me explain to you why I explain the way I, I do. Okay, but let me explain to you why I explain the way I do. Okay, but let me explain to you why I explain the way I do. Okay, but let me explain to you why I explain the way I do. Okay, but let me explain to you why I explain the way I do. Okay, but let me explain to you why I explain the way
Keep in mind, I don't care if you speak only English, if you speak Creole. Can I put live live? Because if you are someone who's trying to learn Creole, I made it easy in a way for you to understand Creole. But if you are someone who's trying to understand English, moi fait facile pour pour qu'à comprendre anglais. That is why I don't teach Creole. While I'm teaching you guys, I cover both languages together. Okay? So the same way I explain it to you in English is the same way I explain it to you in Creole. So if you are someone that speaks English only and you want to learn how to speak Creole, it'll be easy for you. If you someone who speaks Creole only and you want to learn how to speak English, be facile pour vous too, okay? So now, stand, levé, past tense, stood. Very good. Stood. Excellent. So, perfect tense. Perfect tense. So, si nous pensons que it stays the same, just dim stays the same. Stand, stood, to what? Does it stay the same? Si le gars même genre, on admet it stays the same. Stand. To stood to what? Stays the same. One second. Yeah, it stays the same. Stood. All right, next. Steal. Okay. Steal. Vole. Why did you steal my marker? Who is the vole marker now? Steal, okay? To steal, let the vole. Okay? You don't need to steal. Just ask. Uba besoin pour vole. Just my day. So, how would you put steal in the past tense? Stole. Very good. Munkiepi stole you. Good job. Jason. Stole my phone. Amanda stole my marker. Jason vole téléphone moyen. Amanda te vole ma camera. Okay? So di konsa I stole something from you. I'm pretty sure you guys hear that all the time. I stole something from you. Te vole on bagay pou. So still vle di vole. Stole se te vole. Okay? Now. Steal. Stole. And what? Now we're doing perfect tense now. Steal, vole, stole, te vole. Perfect tense would be what? Stole is spelled S-T-O-L-E, okay? S-T-O-L-E, yes. Perfect tense, stolen, okay? Stolen. Stolen, S-T-O-L-E-N, all right? So next, swear. Swear, swear vled de bagay, okay? Swear means two things, either wap joué ou bien wap semante, okay? If you are swearing, it's either wap joué, you are cursing, or mbap di l'autre parce que si m'di déjà bon réponse. So, swear. The present, the past is what? So, si swear se present, passe a se what? Swore, okay? Swore. S W O R E. Swore. Okay, now we're doing the perfect tense now. Swore is spelled S W O R E. I swear 
she swore and he what? Sworn. Very good. Sworn. 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 Okay? Sworn. S W O R N. All right? Sworn. Okay? Very good. Okay. Tell me this. Tell me. Tell the dim. Okay? So tell me. Dimwe. Tell her. Dili fian. Tell him. Dili gasson. Okay? Tell means what? Tell. Tell is the present tense. So, si ma mette nan passe, kwa ma map di. Told. Very good. See, I told you. Told me when tell you. Told. Okay? So, si ma mette nan perfect. Does it stay the same or do I have to change it? So if I have to write it down in the perfect tense, does it stay the same or? She told me your name. I told her no. Okay. We told her she's not coming. So stays the same or change it? Stays the same. All right, so next, teach, okay? So, mon ki tu jwa dim hai, teach yo. I'm here to tell you, teach is a verb. You cannot tell me how I teach because teach is a verb, okay? So, the job of the teacher is to teach. So, I am doing the action. So, if you say hi, teach, you're not telling me hi. You're saying hi to the verb. So, I am not teach. I am a teacher. Because the teacher is the one teaching. Okay? So, present tense. Since I am doing that right now, I am teaching you guys. Okay? So, si besoin de mettre le passé. Comment m'écrire? What should I say? Myrdalen, do you teach? Did you teach on Monday? Okay? So, if today is Tuesday, m'abdou qui ça? I what? Yes, I thought on Monday. Thought, okay? Past tense is thought. T-A-U-G-H-T, okay? So, perfect tense is what? What about the perfect tense? Does it stay the same or do I have to change it? If it stays the same, just write down stays the same. If I have to change it, tell me I have to change it. The same thing. It doesn't change. Thought. All right? Next. Wear. Mete. Okay? What do you want to wear? Qui sauve le mete? Okay, so si ma mette wear la na passe. How should I write it down? Did you wear this? Est-ce que te mette ça? Yes, moi te mette ça. Si ma di moi te mette. How should I say it? Wear and and what? So if the present tense is wear, what is the past tense? War, okay, W-O-R-E, or, or, war, okay? Did you, wear, did you wear my clothes? Did you wear my shirt? Yes, I wore your shirt, okay? I wore your shirt, te mette chemise I wore the skirt, te mette jupe 
I wore the boots. Moi te mette bot yo. Okay, wore. W-O-R-E. Se pa wore lo an lo goume an lo. Okay? Gon goume bata yo di wore. That one is W-A-R. But the war to put on in the past tense, it's spelled W-O-R-O, -O, put the war, okay? Next, perfect tense, come on, middle. So, I wear your shirt, he wore my skirt. So, how do I have to write it in the perfect tense? So perfect tense, what the worn, 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 okay? All right, W-O-R-N, all right? Very good. Last, grow. You need to grow up. Who does not want to Okay, grow, grandi. So if I'm trying to put it in the past tense, grow up, grandi, grow, did it grow? Esculte grandi. Past tense would be what? Past tense would be grow. Very good. Grow. Te grandi. Okay? Now, so di kon sa ke ou te grandi en Haiti, what di I grew up in Haiti? Okay? Seems to, where did you grow up? I grew up in the US. Sa vle di ke ou te grandi Etats Unis. Okay? Me sou te grandi Haiti, what di I grew up in Haiti? Ou bi I grew up in Canada? Ou bi I grew up in France? Okay? Will be I grew up in Europe, okay? Now, perfect tense. Grown, very good. You add an N at the end. Grown, grown, grown. Listen, I am grown, okay? Well, I'm not going to listen, I am grown. Okay, I am grown, okay? G R O W N. Very good. Now, if tonight is the first time you are assisting my life, I want to welcome you. If that's your second or third time, welcome again. My name is Mirdalyn. We meet every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7.30 p.m. If you have not subscribed with me on YouTube after the live, go to YouTube, type my name, M-Y-R-D-E-L-I-N-E-R-A-Y-M-O-N-D. That's why you'll be able to subscribe with me. Si à soi c'était première fois ensemble avec moi, je vous remercie et je vous bienvenue. Si c'était deuxième ou troisième fois, je vous remercie encore. Non, moi, c'est Myrdeline. Nous rencontrons chaque lundi, mercredi et vendredi à 7h30. Ou même qui pourquoi abonner ensemble avec moi, après la live, allez sur YouTube, tapez nom M-Y-R-D-E-L-I-N-E-R-A-Y-M-O-N-D. C'est là où vous pouvez abonner ensemble avec moi. Que vous devenez un béni ou que vous devenez un guideo, que vous devenez un fait ou un samaver ou même qui t'a un égal livre, c'est deux livres pour 70 dollars ou qu'à contacter me sur WhatsApp 617 419 53 81 ou bien l'autre numéro 978 323 15 99. Si vous avez besoin de coup privé ou t'as aimé au monde, fait pratique sans samaver, relève sous même numéro ça. Si vous avez été New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina, Indiana, Ohio, Maryland now, Connecticut, ou ta remé yon si yon etan pouwe, mwen relim, mwen ka edo. Ou même ki gen pou al pran test citizenship pou, you have to pass the civic test. Relim, mwen ka edo. Guys, please, share the life for me. Share it in groups. Share it with your friends, your family. Share it on WhatsApp. Partage it partout pour moi. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Starting next week, okay, we're going to have live on Facebook every Mondays and Fridays. 
So Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays will be YouTube. Ma fait trois fois par semaine sur YouTube. Et puis Facebook, ma fait chaque lundi avec vendredi seulement. So technology avancé. I want you guys to keep up with me. So pour mon qui va get email, yo, there's no reason 2021 is coming pour pas get email. Pour pas qu'on comment pour share. Pour pas qu'on comment pour tag moon. Pour pas pour pas qu'on comment pour use technology. Okay. 2021 is gonna be a brand new year. I want you guys to upgrade. Ma bloquer mon fait back. L'île est temps pour commencer à faire practice ensemble avec une clotte. Mettez créer la sous côté pour un petit temps. You already exposed to it, so try to practice. That's how you will get better. So don't worry about what's on the board after the live. I will post it up for you guys. Thank you guys so so much. Stay positive. Have a wonderful night. I will see you guys. This Wednesday at 7.30, have a wonderful night. God bless. Bye-bye.